Alright, it's challenge time! Hands on challenge. So, we are going to complete the flow challenge together. Alright, let's go ahead and dive in. So, I'm going to scroll up and go to my hands on org here. Pop this up. And go to my second playground. And we are going to make a flow. A flow would be on the gear icon and setup. And we are going to make a flow. Flows. All right. Did I click on it? There we go. Okay. So this is our previous flow from the example. Now I'm going to click on the challenge here and let's get started. So before you start, you have to do this, but we already did. So it's good to go. Now challenge requirement, create a flow, label new lead and then screen flow. Let's go do that. Create a new flow over here. It's a screen flow, create, and then we are going to save this, well, not yet. I'm going to add a screen, boom, let's see again, add a screen, and then, well, this is, when we save it, make sure we label it new lead for the flow, okay, so we have add a screen label lead screen let's do that flow label here there and then add to text field to the new lead screen last name and company name mark both text fields as required okay last name and company name so it's a text field, so I'm just going to type text here. So I'm going to um, label this last name, make it require, and then another one on the bottom is company name, tap over, make it required. And then add a create records element. Okay, let's save this screen and hit done. So I am going to save this and the label is new lead, right? New lead. Okay, so that's save and save. Okay, we have a warning. That's okay. We are just getting started. We are just getting warmed up. So create a record. Boom. What is the label? A create lead. And then, okay, let's go create lead one record to create and use separate variables resources and literal values the object is lead and then the field would be let me see the company name and the last name right so we have a last name and company store the lead ids in a new resource variable and call it lead id with the type of text okay if i go back here um last name is the last name at the field company is the company name 
and then store the lead ID in a variable. So when this lead record is created, it has a record ID, right? We want to store that record ID in a variable. We don't have that, so I'm going to click new resource here. And it's a text, a variable named lead ID. Where do we get that? They say to put it as lead ID here, right? Lead ID with the type of text. So the data type is text. Okay, so remember what we learned from the previous example, the previous video. So we don't want to check this box. Do not check this box, okay? Because this is availability outside the flow. As we won't be passing in parameters into this flow, it is a screen flow and we are not passing in parameters in this flow, leave this unchecked. So if you check this, when you put this flow on the home page, it will error out. Okay, so do not check that box and done and done so this thing here we need to put this together boom and then this together boom okay so what else another screen component screen and then we're going to do file upload there so let's go back to our flow builder we want to add a screen boom name this component screen okay and then we want to add file upload drag it there so let's see the api name it has to be um, upload underscore file and upload related files all right API name upload underscore file and the label itself is upload what I forgot already upload related files right upload related files and then let's see Related record ID would be the lead ID, which is the lead we just created here. Or here variables, uh, lead ID. So there is the related record. Whoops, I click away. Let's see what else do they want. And for allow multiple files, so we can upload multiple files and not just one file select true so upload multiple files here global constant true there equivalent to true checked or yes all right global constant true and then that's it so i'm going to hit done over here and connect this together here, boom, right. So now I'm going to save this guy and we still have a warning, right? That's okay. And we are going to activate. All right, <clears throat> let's see. I'm just curious, component screen, this can include screen component that require lightning runtime. But we did, we did, right? I want to double check and triple check. It says to go to um, setup process automation settings. Let's make sure. Process automation settings here right and then we have to enable lightning runtime for flows and save right enable lightning runtime it's already enabled um, enable lightning runtime for flow see 
this is already enabled but that warning keeps popping up enable rat lightning runtime for flows it's enabled so we are good to go so if you get that warning don't uh, be concerned okay so we've saved that i'm gonna go back here um where were we okay now we want to put that onto our home page so we are done creating the flow so when you're done in Salesforce creating a component, a new field, anything, a button, you will need to use that. We just created, but we haven't put it anywhere. We have to stick it to somewhere. Now we want to stick this flow onto the home page. Okay. So we are going to create a new one and name it process automation home. So do you remember from the previous example? It's Lightning App Builder. Lightning App Builder. Now we are going to make a new home page, right? New. It's a home page and hit next. And we want to use Process Automation Home. I'm just going to copy that over. Oops. This one process automation home and they don't define which one standard home page and then new lead flow and that's it standard home page finish where do you want to stick dot that on put it here again okay on the right side i'm going to drag flow and new lead it knows pretty smart salesforce I'm going to save it and activate this as the standard org default. So everybody will have this home page now and save it again. And if I go back and I go back here and I go back to home page. <clears throat> we don't want any errors, right? Well, this is the swim kit still. If I go to another one, probably um, sales, because we use that for the swim kiss. Okay, that's good, right? The the new lead now is Jack. The company name Jack Construction. Well, you have to test this and make sure it doesn't error out. Okay, next. You can upload file interesting I'm gonna use this guy boom and finish oh it works now if I go to my leads we should have Jack construction so everything worked as expected so you better give me your 500 points trailhead or else I'm going to come and invade the ground Okay, there you go. Congratulations on your new 500 points. And next on, we are going to talk about combine the power of process builder and flow builder. Boom. I'll see you on the next trail. Hit that subscribe button and explore new trailhead grounds and learn to implement the most useful and popular apps on the Salesforce app exchange and do yourself a favor like this video and you'll be surprised on how much more you understand when watching this same video after liking it don't take my word watch this one more time after you like the video and see it for yourself bada bing bada boom